Day two, yesterday, what time did we leave camp yesterday, or the truck yesterday? Three? I think it was five. It was five. Thirty. By the time we left the truck? Yeah. We did hit the trail till about six. Oh. Well, we didn't even give it a good effort yesterday then. <laughs> we just shut her down at 10.30 because we ran out of daylight. Well, here on day two, we're going up over those clouds right there. And over the other side, like eight more miles over that other side. <clears throat> we got to get there by noon and these guys slept in. I've been sitting here waiting all day. <laughs> This is a physics lesson, folks. The wider the river, the shallower it is, because volume is a function of either width or depth. Bill Nye, the science guy, didn't teach you that, I'm sure, but now you got it for me. These little tarm again. I have no idea how lucky they are that I don't have my pointer of this little 20 gauge made by pointer. Kaboom, kaboom. A little over and under. If I had that thing, it'd be all over for those chickens. When you get about late 40s, 50. You figure out that going over the next ridge and the next ridge and the next ridge really doesn't accomplish much. <laughs> you let everybody else go over the next ridge and pretty soon they push them over to you. You didn't go that fast? Youth is wasted on the young. Got up this morning, I'm not sure what time, and hiked all the way in here. Had to come over the divide. Now we got our camp set up, so a group of rams up here. It's really hard to get a grasp of how big and remote and wild Alaska is until you come here and spend a day or so hiking into some of these places or hiring someone to fly you into one of them. And that's when you see what wild, big country really looks like. Now this afternoon, we gotta go figure out what ram it is that is legal. Because you need full curl, or both, you know, or broom, or, well, if you wanna trust counting rings, you can do that, but. Man, there just seems like a lot of potential for problems counting rings. So, I'm going to be very cautious. Three of those eight are definitely worth taking a closer look at. I think they're planning to bed down on one of those cliffs. There. So, those rams just crossed at the head of the basin here. Branson's idea is that we go and get a better look at them, and I'm all about that because there were three of them that were... Mm -hmm. We need two of them to be legal, Branson. Yeah, only two. Only two. If there's three there, we could just let the one walk away. There you go. All right. We're going to go get a closer look. So, we came up this creek bottom. And around this corner, you can see the sheep up on that steep face. So... We're going to go straight uphill here, and we're going to just use the crown to protect us. I'm going to pull out the spotting scope, see what we can see then. So, 
one of those two is broomed really hard on his driver's side. Can't tell for sure if he's broomed on the passenger side. It's hit or miss. Depends on what you define as broomed. And the other one just drops way down and doesn't doesn't appear to be full curl. But I can only count to like four, so someone else is gonna have to count the rings on that thing when we get within a hundred yards. Marcus will have to shoot him because I'll just probably give him a sporting chance, get him up out of his bed, and then Marcus will shoot him. Well, Branson tells me that if we leave with these sheep bedded above us, they're going to see us and get spooked or spooky. So his strategy is we're staying here till dark. It'll take us half hour to get back to camp. And we'll get about three hours of sleep before we got to hike back up here. So it should make for an interesting evening. I'm just side hilling it right now. These rams actually started coming closer and the call was made that we had to get off that ridge because pretty soon they'd be straight across from us. So at this low gray light, we decided to sneak off here, come down in this creek and head back to camp because all eight of them are coming this way, which almost seems too good to be true. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but I say we boogie and head back to camp. I'm liking this idea. <laughs> I'm liking the idea of eight sheep with maybe two or three legal ones. I, I like that idea too. <laughs> Sounds awesome. Cool. I'll yeah. follow you. Okay. Okay. What a way to end the first day of scouting, huh? <laughs> a yeah. band of eight rams right up above the camp. That's amazing. I would have never dreamt that. There's three nice ones in there. Mm -hmm. It's just yeah. whether the other two are going to be legal. Yeah. I think when we get within 100 yards, we can count those rings. I think so. <sighs> Bedtime for Bonzo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good night, folks. <laughs>